some big ass curls. First thing I'm doing is applying a heat protectant. This will maybe hopefully make it so your hair doesn't get as damaged while you're applying heat to it. I'm taking the Infinity Curling Wand by Conair. You can get this off Amazon. The way I like to curl my hair is placing the wand behind my head and then curling away from my face. In my opinion, this just gives you the best looking curls. I hold it there for about 20 to 30 seconds until the hair gets hot, and then I let it go, and then right away I like to spray each piece that I curl with hairspray just to make sure that it stays. And the hairspray I'm using is by Pantene Pro-B. So then I'm going to take another small section of my hair and just do the same exact thing. If you want your curls to be bigger and looser, you're just going to take a bigger section of hair. I like to do tighter curls and then at the end I'm going to comb through with my fingers to kind of loosen it up. So this is basically all I do with my whole head of hair. Once you get to the other side of your hair, you're going to do the same exact thing. This side is always trickier for me to hold, but you're going to do the same thing and just curl your hair the opposite direction of your face. Does that make any sense? Curl your hair away from your face and then we're just going to spray it with hairspray again and voila. So when you're doing this, the fatter part of the curling wand should be faced upward and the skinnier part downward. And then curl away from the face. Should I say that one more time? So this is basically what I do for my whole head. I'll show you my bangs in a second. If you like to tease your hair, now would be the time to tease it. I don't tease my hair because it's too thick to hold a tease. Basically, I just separate out my bangs. You're going to place the wand behind your bangs and then curl. If you have a one inch wand, this is going to look a lot better. It's at my college storage unit thing so I didn't have it but this works fine you're just gonna have to play with it a little more to make it look normal so here is what it looks like it looks crazy when you first take it out but like I said we're gonna play with it and move it around and yeah there you go so now I'm just taking my fingers and kind of lightly combing through the curls to loosen them up a little you could leave it how it is but I like mine a little more wavy instead of like ringlet curls so yeah, just running my fingers through, and then at the end, I'm going to hairspray everything when I'm done. So this is how I get big ass bombshell curls. If you like this tutorial, click the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.